So we're given that there are 22 total, six of them are defective, which means that there are 16 that are good. And if we want the probability of at least one defective, whenever you see that at least one, that means not none. If at least one is defective, that means that not all of them are good. Which means that if we found the probability that all of them were good and just said, hey, we don't want that, one minus that, that's what we want to do. So like if there were a 20% possibility that all were good, then there would be an 80% possibility that not all of them were good, and at least one would be defective. So to find the probability that all of them are good, there are two methods of doing that. The simplest method that you kind of learn, like in seventh grade, is that, hmm, well the probability that the first one is good is there are 16 good ones out of 22, and then when you pick the second one, there are 15 good ones left out of 21. And then when you pick the third one, there are uh, 14 out of 20 left. And if you multiply those all together, you'll get 0.3636, and that's the probability that all of them are good, which means that if you do 1 minus that, you get this, 0.6363, and that is your answer D. Woohoo! Uh, then you learn a new fancy way of finding this. Like, so you're, you're done there. You can stop there if you want. Um, if you prefer to find the probability of all good using your new fancy combinations, uh, the probability that they're all good, there are 16 good uh, things, and you want to choose three of them. And so that's how many combinations that you want. Out of, there are 22 total things, and you want to choose three of them. So if you punch this in on your calculator, and punch this in on your calculator, and divide them, you will get 0.3636 same thing as you did when you did this. Do one minus that, you're back to there. So, yay. Either way is good. If you forget how to do this on your calculator, it I do have other videos that have combinations. It's, um, if you have the TI-83, it's under the uh, math, um, TI-8384. It's under the math, and then you scroll over to probability, and then you find the NCR, uh, you'll have to hit the 16 first. So you'll do the 16 first, then you'll hit the math, then you'll go to probability, then NCR, then hit the uh, NCR, and then you'll hit the, th in this case, 3 to finish it, and then enter, and it'll give you a number. Um, and there you go. All right.